So if you want to learn how to code, first things first, you need to know what you want to develop. If you have an idea for an app or a program or a game, first I would have a look and see if there's already a language for that and um, what the easiest one to learn is. If you can do it in Python or JavaScript, those ones I recommend because the syntax is pretty user friendly. We'll talk about syntax in a moment. On the other hand, if you don't know what you want to make, but you still want to learn how to code, first find out your learning style. So whether you are a visual learner or more of a physical learner, find out what it is because this will help you massively in your progression as a coder. This is because large amounts of the code can be background processes. So if you're coming from a traditional learning sense, not seeing the outcome of the code that you've just written can be very complicated. Getting around how everything works and interacts together was one of the biggest things that I had to overcome when I was learning. Personally, I'm more of a visual learner, so seeing the outcome of what I've just written helped me massively in understanding the process. That's why for me, web design and game design is where I started out. I started out with web design because changing elements on the code and then seeing them change in real time on the website was massively beneficial to me so that I could see what the code actually did. This is the same for changing variables in games. So you change the movement speed, for instance, you can see the player move faster and slower and you can really get a grasp the concept of what the code is actually doing. So then once you understand these concepts then and how the code relates to physical things in the game and, and processes, you can then take it to any other field where the processes may not have any output at all or no digital output. And then in your head, you can work it out thinking, you can take yourself back to the website and you can think this is how this worked in the website this is how it worked in the game so this is kind of how it works out and you can play this the process through in your head and make it a bit more clear obviously i'm not saying web design and game design are the best for everyone i can only say from my personal preference and what i've personally done but i feel like if you work to your learning strategy then you get the best outcomes the point I'm trying to get across is if you put the start of your development into the process, which allows it to work the best with the way you learn and the way you're already used to learning, that will work best for you in the long run. Also, if you already have a background in something, say music or data or something along those lines, if you build applications to start off with that relate to those, then it'll give you a much better understanding of the code because you already have a good understanding of the subject. Let's talk about syntax for a moment. It's basically the difference between all the languages and how you get them to do what you want them to do. Let's think about program languages as people for a moment and those people's accents. Everyone speaks plain English, but everyone has a different accent. Those accents represent syntaxes. If you're speaking to people from your own country, that would be considered an easy syntax. Let's say that you know plain English and then the closest that the language is to plain English is then how easy it will be to learn for you. Now, let's say you're speaking to a foreigner, for instance, who speaks English, but with a quite a strong accent, that would be a more difficult syntax to learn because you'd have to learn all of the ticks in the language, how it's set out for you to get your point across. That's basically the same thing as writing syntax in code. You have to say things in particular ways so that whoever you're talking to, in this case, the programming language understands what you're trying to say. But one of the things is once you've learned a syntax, so say you start speaking to more people in your hometown and then you learn their syntax, it's much easier then to learn syntaxes for other accents or you know languages in this case. But when you are starting out, try and keep the syntax as close to your own plain English as possible. Syntaxes like these are like Python and JavaScript because they're quite easy to learn and they are as close to plain English as it gets. So now you know what you want to learn you know how you want to learn it, and you know a bit about syntax. Let's talk about some resources that you can use to learn the actual coding process. So for me, for web design, I personally like to use practical examples. So I like to use W3Schools, which is one of the biggest web development and coding websites in the world. It has great practical resources, and it walks you through step-by-step step every part of the language. They have ventured into other languages now, so they do offer courses for PHP, uh, JavaScript, Python, and a few more. If you're looking to get into those, W3Schools is free and the way they structure their classes really worked for me. But personally, I think if you're trying to learn something specific, a good YouTube tutorial or course that's highly recommended and following that through to get the basics is a great way to learn 
the fundamentals of any language or any process that you're trying to learn. In this day and age, you don't need to spend any money really on learning to code. You don't really need to spend any money to learn how to do anything. As long as you know what to type into Google, what you're trying to make, it makes it very easy for you then to go ahead and make that thing. So I'll leave the link to W3 schools in the description and uh, go check it out. If you are learning, they have lots of classes. It's free and I don't like paying for anything. So that's great. Hopefully this helped you out. If it did, check out the channel. We have other videos like this and other tech topics and tech videos that you might be interested in. Peace.